Iran, coronavirus fatalities exceeds 194,400. Over 194,400 people have died of the novel coronavirus across Iran, according to reports tallied by the Iranian opposition People's Mujahideen Organization of Iran as of Wednesday. The official death toll declared by the regime stands at 55,095, around a third of the actual figure. The human testing of the Iranian coronavirus vaccine is being carried out at a time when a few days ago, 167 pharmacists described the domestic COVID-19 vaccines as a joke, according to the state controlled Hamdeli newspaper on Wednesday. With what confidence do we claim to produce a native vaccine? They wrote, criticizing horrible planning in providing vaccines in Iran. They also expressed utter shock of the slogan of producing a national vaccine. Iran Targeting RGC's mobilization center in Tehran On Tuesday, despite the state security force being on maximum alert, defiant youth targeted Revolutionary Guard mobilization centers in Tehran and Sabzavar and set fire to their entrances. This was in response to the execution of the political prisoner Abdul Hamid Mir Baluchsehi, hanged at the behest of the RGC's intelligence organization, after enduring five years of torture and imprisonment. Simultaneously, the fine youth in Hamadan set fire to a large banner of the eliminated Qasem Soleimani, the notorious RGC Quds Force commander. Locals welcomed the activities of the fine youth. Political prisoner Hashem Khastar in critical health conditions. The health of Hashem Khastar, a teacher detained in the central prison of Mashhad, is critical, but he continues to be harassed in prison. Mr. Khastar, 67, is under a lot of pressure and detained in difficult conditions. He suffers from high blood pressure and needs to be treated as soon as possible. But prison officials not only refuse to release him, but have increased harassing and pressuring this old teacher. Mr. Khastar and 13 other activists were arrested by agents of the Department of Intelligence of Mashhad at the start of a gathering on August 11, 2019. The gathering had been held in support of a freedom-loving professor who had been sentenced to 13 years in prison.